process of kind of getting over the euphoria of that incredible comeback and, and refocusing uh, going right now? Yeah, we need to come out here every day the rest of this week and be better than we were today. Uh, you know, it's a short turnaround, but that's never an excuse, and we're just excited to get going. And well, after today, continue to work on Hawaii and kind of, you know, be done with that game. Got away with the win, and it was good. But we're ready to move on to one and zero this week. So guys are a little bit still right now on that cloud right now. Uh, I, I don't think so. I think uh, you know we're kind of maybe like some bodies are dinged up. But like I said, that's no excuse. We need to come out here and you know be ready to work every day, regardless if we play on Thursday after a Sunday game or Saturday after a Sunday game. How, how will the short turnaround work? Are, are, are you concerned that you know you have less time to prepare? Or what kind of adjustments do you have to make? Uh, nope, it's actually the exact same. It would. We just uh, you know we took shoulder pads off today instead of wearing shoulder pads, so that's the only difference. Do you have time to look at film when it's this quick a turnaround? Yeah, we watched the film this morning. Uh, got in here nine o'clock, watched the film, done with the film at 11:30. Uh, went to lunch, quick turnaround, started on Hawaii, and then right out here we were working two service periods against Hawaii. What were some of your major takeaways from watching the film of the offensive line? Obviously coming home with a win was huge. Uh, great resilience towards the end of the game, never giving up, even just the whole team. Uh, need to communication stuff for protection. And there's some, had some breakdowns in our seven man protections. And But other than that, you know, there was a lot of good stuff on the tape and we're gonna take the good stuff and move forward. Obviously in the run game, you know, it's kind of tough uh, when you go down in a big hole early to kind of get any sort of rhythm going. So it was, Pass, pass, pass towards the end of the game, and it worked out for us, and we're just happy to come away with a win. Was it a matter of numbers? Sorry, Ben. Was it a matter of numbers in the running game or the little technique or issues that you all were doing? Too? Um, just, you know, one-man breakdowns, but like I said, that's neither here nor there. We won, and we're moving on. The uh, Being able to finish a game, you guys came so close so many times last year where you could have won games in the final minute, final play. What did it feel like to, to pull that one out? Yeah, me and Josh, we, me and Josh talked about that after the game. It's finally to be on the other side of one of those. You know, last year was kind of the same game against them, and you know, this year just a different outcome. Like it was great to come out with a win, and you know, like I said earlier, we're just, we're ready to go on and be one and zero against Hawaii this week. What kind of challenges do they face? Obviously, they're a high scoring team, but what, when you when you think about you know what you're gonna have to do well to win this game, we're gonna have to do everything well. You know, there's they're a good team. They compete hard. They're well coached. They're disciplined. Uh, their effort is off the charts. They put a tremendous effort, and uh, we're looking forward to a great opportunity to go out and play a great football team and come home with another win. How did Michael Alves do in his first start? Michael Alves did really, really great. He showed a lot of really good, like some true promise, and I was really excited for him. Like I said last week, he's a San Diego boy, so I'm, I'm kind of riding with him, and uh, I was really happy for him. And you know, it looked most importantly, he had fun, which was awesome to see. So uh, we're all excited for him, and he's excited to get going for the rest of the season. You said you wanted to be better than you were today. Was there anything in particular that wasn't wasn't operating today in practice, or is it just kind of be better than every just day? Just be better every day, you know. So today, tomorrow, we got to be better, and then the next day, we got to be better than the day we were before. Just our mindset. How many like how many texts and tweets and stuff like that did you get after after oh, Sunday? My gosh, it took me like until right before practice to get through them all. So it was <laughs> it was unbelievable, but it was so much fun, and we're happy to come away with a win. Look forward to this week and get another one and go two and zero. Thank you.